When you think of creepy looking bugs, things like spiders and centipedes are what probably come to mind. But for me personally, one that truly gives me the heebie-jeebies is, believe it or not, a cricket. And I've come to the sand dunes of eastern New Mexico to track one down. What I'm searching for is the horrifying Jerusalem cricket, and I'm not only going to have it walk on me and see if it bites, but this will be the first time anyone has ever filmed this particular species on YouTube. Technically, even though it's called a cricket, this nightmare fuel is something far more bizarre. It comes from a prehistoric lineage of terrifying creatures, the Stenopelmatoidae, I, I think, which includes horrors like the Wedas and Kalula monsters. Only these guys aren't found in the wilds of Australia and New Zealand. They're found right in my own backyard, the United States. I could have gone to a lot of different places to find a Jerusalem cricket, but I chose this specific location because there's a bizarre species which, unlike the others, is solid black. I'm on the search for the Mescalero Jerusalem cricket, which to my knowledge has never been filmed on camera. So instead of hanging out with friends and having a social life, I decided to aimlessly walk through these sand dunes at midnight until I found my target species. Luckily, it only took two entire hours of getting sand literally everywhere to finally find what I was looking for. All right, this is an animal I really wanted to show you guys tonight. This is a Jerusalem cricket, and now he's awake, he's moving around, and it is one of the freakiest bugs you can find in the United States. Now, it is called a Jerusalem cricket. Is it from Jerusalem? No. And is it a cricket? Also no. It has, it is probably one of the worst named animals, but it is in the general cricket grasshopper katydid family, even though it's more closely related to things like wettas. What a creepy animal. This is like if you took a cricket, sent it to hell, ripped it back after seven years, and sort of what sort of abomination you would end up with. These things are crazy. And why I put them in the carrying case at first is because they do deliver a really nasty bite, but this guy is looking pretty chill, so I'm gonna handle him here soon. Now, as well as being called Jerusalem crickets, they're also called potato bugs, because these guys, even though they are somewhat predatory, they do also like to nibble on the roots of different plants, and that includes potatoes, so farmers don't like these guys too much, but it's kind of a love-hate relationship, because these guys actually aerate the soil when they burrow through it. Now, these guys can be predatory. A lot of times, they're more so of a scavenger, but trust me, these guys can tear into a bug like nothing else. And those jaws are extremely powerful. They can easily break skin and cause you to bleed. And man, if he weren't being so chill, I'd be very scared to hold him. But I really do think I can do it. Whew, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this and put him on my hand and see what happens. I'm going to coax him onto my hand. Okay, he's on my hand. Oh man, that is creepy, that is creepy. And he's walking, wow. These guys have super spiky legs. Okay, he is walking on my hand, and man, what a creepy looking bug. If you guys can see, his head is absolutely gigantic compared to the rest of his body. And trust me guys, this whole time I am so worried he is going to bite me because those jaws are so, so strong. And man alive if that isn't just one of the creepiest bugs I've held. When I hold spiders, they don't really freak me out as much, but something about this, seeing that giant head, those tiny soulless eyes, man, this thing is horrifying. Now this guy does live on the dunes, which of course means that he is gonna have some major league predators, things like scorpions. But this guy, luckily, has an extremely hard set of armor. His exoskeleton is crazy difficult to puncture, especially when you compare it to things like normal crickets. So that is his main defense, as well as that giant, terrifying head of his. I'm sure he would do a number on any would-be predator. Well, awesome, hanging out with the massive Jerusalem cricket, an absolutely terrifying insect that I still really can't believe that I am holding right now. What a cool find, very happy to have found this species out here in the sand dunes. We're gonna get him back and let him continue on his way. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more stuff, more content of some really creepy invertebrates like this, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching.